Hi everyone, it's me, Pink Diamond. So, I know I haven't been on here in a little while now, but um, I wanted to come and update you guys as to what's been going on since I've started Accutane and since my last update. So, um, today is day 58, and I'm now on um, 30 milligrams, which I have to take 30 milligrams of Clarvis, which I take twice a day, so that's 60 milligrams in total. Um, I'm, I haven't started taking that as of yet, but once my um, last two, my last, um, once I finish the, the pack of my, um, my previous prescription, then I'll start on my, um, my clavis once I'm finished with the this pack, which is basically um, my Yorison. Yeah. So once I'm finished, I have about four more left in this pack, and that's um, it's pretty much two days because I take two a day, and it's 20 milligrams. So this is what I'm on, and um. By day 60, which is in two more days, I'll be taking Clarvis 30 milligrams twice a day. So I've been bumped up by 20 milligrams. Um, yeah, so things are going pretty well. Um, as far as side effects, I'm experiencing dry eyes, dry red eyes, um, dry lips. I try to keep my lips moisturized. Um, as much as I can and I'll I think I'm gonna make a separate video just showing you what products I use because usually my videos get pretty lengthy so just to kind of cut down on time um, I'm just gonna separate it let you know what's going on in this video just let you know what side effects I've been having and um, in the second half of this video I'll let you know what I've been doing to alleviate those side effects so, as I was saying, um, I've been experiencing dry eyes, dry lips, um, I get like cracked blood vessels inside my nose and it kind of dries up, I know it's like really gross, but that's been happening a lot lately, um, I've been getting a lot of dry, um, dry blood inside my nose and I think it's of course because of the drug just drying everything out. Um, so I've been having that. I've also had, I have eczema. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in my last video, but definitely I'm experiencing eczema. Um, I have it on my hands. It's not as bad right now, but all of this here is basically it looks like dry, like dry scab or something. It feels like a dry scab, but um, it's not. It's not a cut. It's just basically um, the eczema. Yeah, and it's going away. It was all over my hands recently. I've just been using like cocoa butter um, and whatever, just moisturizing and wearing gloves to keep my hands from. You know, like if I'm doing dishes and keeping them from getting too wet and um, just preventing all the harsh detergents from drying out my skin even further. Um, oh yeah, when I went to my dermatologist, she was going to give me some prescription. She was going to give me, I guess, hydrocortisone, but I told her no, it's fine because pretty much I just need to moisturize my hands more. Um, what else? Oh, I've also, I think this is my worst side effect yet. I've been having, at first, I think in my previous video I mentioned that I was having shedding. My hair was shedding. My hair is definitely shedding. Like, I wish I, ha I, wish I had pictures to show you. But I washed my hair night before last. And I had like, I kid you not, like I had like this much hair came out of my head. Like my hair is 
I my hair is natural, meaning it doesn't have like a perm or anything. And I had like just a bulk of hair like this, like this big, no lie, come out of my head. It was just coming out like crazy from the roots. Um, now, I know it does have to do partially with Accutane, but it also has to do with the fact that just before I started Accutane or just in the very beginning, like the very first couple weeks of taking Accutane, I went to the salon, I went to the Dominicans and I had a blowout, I had a Dominican blowout and I don't know, if, if you've ever had a Dominican blowout you can understand. They use the, usually put you under the dryer and roller set your hair and put you under the dryer and then it's followed by like an intense straightening process where they use the blow dryer and maybe a barrel brush or what have you and they straighten your hair and dry your hair. Now I didn't use a flat iron, I just had the lady blow dry my hair and when she was finished my hair was like bone straight. Like, in my previous video, I think that was a few days prior to me getting it blow dried and it was straight and she literally set off the fire alarm in inside of the salon. It was a really small salon, but it was that much, much um, smoke. I should have said something to her, but I was like, whatever in the past, you know, I never really had to concern myself with, um, my hair really breaking or shedding but I don't I think that definitely contributed to this time my hair shedding the way it did like my hair was coming out when I washed it it was really 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 bad it was really bad um, it could be just accumulated hair because um, it's been a while since I've I really washed my hair since it's so dry um, my hair is naturally dry and being on this medication is even drier so um, it could be a combination of things but like just natural shedding plus the Accutane but I lost this is the most hair I've ever lost in my life in just one wash um, yeah if I <laughs> I don't know so I've been just trying to um, be mindful and take better care of my hair while I'm on this. Um, and I'll show you some of the products that I've been using or I am going to be using and hopefully that will help um, reduce the shedding of my hair for the next time I, I, I wash it. So um, yeah, so that's been a big issue. I've been having dry scalp as well, um, dry scalp, um, oh yeah, I get kind of, I have a tendency to get like, if I don't drink enough water, I get kind of like achy bones, like it feels like there's, like my bones are kind of hurting, it's nothing severe because I never, you know, go that long without drinking enough water, but um, I usually keep like, a big container like a 24 pack or two 24 packs of water um, under my sink since I started Accutane you know because I, I constantly have to have water like I have to bring it to school I have to have it just to keep things kind of some somewhat normal as far as you know my body like water is very important while you're on this this medication um, and plus you get really thirsty at times so I have like a big pack of water and I ran out recently and as a result I noticed like I don't really drink tap water at all I don't like the way it tastes so I wasn't really drinking any water and I didn't have much juice in my fridge neither so I <laughs> I kind of wasn't really drinking much of anything and I noticed like I was having like I would stand up or something and I would hear like a little like a click like, <laughs> like my joints were kind of clicking or cracking or I don't know it didn't sound too good so I made sure I ran out and got some um got some water we went and bought some water from the market and stuff so that helped alleviate that issue 
Um, also, I've been having really sensitive skin. Um, my skin easily cuts and tears, like I mentioned before. I, um, I'm just, I have to be very meticulous in preventing any scratches or anything because it's like something will bump against my skin and, you know, I'll get a cut. I think I have one like right here. I got this yesterday and I don't know if you can see it. It still looks kind of irritated. And these things here on my arms, these are just basically all like eczema patches. Um, so good stuff, good stuff. Um, also I've been having like really dry, in addition to dry eyes and dry mouth and dry nose, my mouth has been drying out as well. And that's pretty normal. So in my next video, I guess I'm just going to explain to you what I've been doing to help maintain and keep myself overall, um, balanced while on this medication so anyhow i'm gonna wrap this up um i guess let me show you guys my skin okay um i'm not wearing any makeup once again like in all my videos i don't wear any makeup the only thing i have on is um some lipstick and that's about it I'm not wearing any makeup my skin has definitely um, I see a big improvement it's very smooth um, I do kind of have some hyperpigmentation it's very very faded but it's still there um, but there are no active pimples or anything um, the last time I broke out was like perhaps a few months ago no I think it was last month when I increased when my doses was increased um, from from 20 to 40 milligrams I did break out I broke out and I had about um, a total of like five zits on my face so maybe once my dosage is increased in the next two days once I start on these here, I'm probably going to break out again, but they were very small, very insignificant, and they went away very fast. So, um, it didn't really bother me at all, and I'm really excited because this is also, um, I believe this is going to be my third month, week nine or so. Yeah, I think this is week nine. Yeah, I think this is week 9. I think it's, it's going to be week 9. Soon I'll be entering into double digits. And I um, can't wait to see what happens. I hope by the time I'm finished with this medication, I have like no marks on my face. Um, that's my goal because I'm not really breaking out. So I feel like the next step for the drug would be to, you know, go ahead and clear up whatever hyperpigmentation or whatever scarring that I have on my skin. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I'm really looking forward to that, and I hope everything goes well. And I love all you guys. I'm gonna wrap this video up. You know, um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to inbox me or just send me a message on this video. Okay? You guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and have a wonderful Thanksgiving.